Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's Ego. Today we are switching it up and we've got some Rogue Arena PvP. So we went from Battlegrounds, now we're going into the Arena. We're doing some Arena Skirmish today. Now Skirmishes are not as structured as Rated Battlegrounds, so a lot of the gameplay sometimes looks a little scuffed. That's because there's no communication with my teammate. However, that did not stop me from getting a few wins and from really still breaking down my thought process whenever I'm in the Arena. Now before we get started, a lot of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed, so do me a favor, hit that sub button down below, ring the bell to get notified when new uploads are uploaded, and of course, if you like the video, like it, if you dislike it, that's okay too, but without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Alright, so we're going in, stealth, 5 seconds, it's opening the door, we're gonna honestly just pop sprint and we're gonna go with our, uh, our DK. So, it looks like that it's going to be mage... Shadow Priest again, it's the same team that we just fought, so I'm going to go ahead and get a Sap. Let the let the Mage pop his cooldowns and stuff. We're going to get a reset without using any of ours. We're going to open with a Cheap Shot just to keep the Mage down. And we're going to get rid of that. Okay, so he blocked. We can get a Stealth Reset here. No, we can't. Okay. God, man. I'm getting clapped, man. Okay, we're gonna die anyway, so might as well just go in, try to get whatever damage we can. Yeah, double caster group is tough, especially when the mage blinks away and you've got the priest kind of disarming you and keeping you still. But as you can see, the DK is carrying. This is a perfect example here why I hate fighting DKs is because they're, they're just so powerful. Unholy is 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 crazy in uh, in arenas. There we go. My teammate definitely carried that battle, um, but we'll go again. Also, for reference, my poisons are um, wound and crippling. So as we're going in here, looks like a shaman, shaman druid. So you can see Mark of the Wild here. There's a druid. Okay, so they just got pumped out. He just popped all of his cooldowns. We're going to open up with a uh, cheap shot on this guy. We're not going to go for a um, ambush. We're going to open with a cheap shot. Actually, I just hit my wrong button because we can get a kidney in. Okay, maybe I can get a quick blind. No, okay, you know what? Cyclone's fine. That's It's getting rid of his bleed damage. That's fine with me. I might be able to get a re-stealth, yep. So we're gonna put some bleeds on this guy, just to kinda have that other damage. We're gonna pop evasion here. He's healing himself. We're gonna go ahead and backstab and that should finish him off. Okay, cool. We're gonna rupture. We can get a stealth reset. He's not gonna win it, but... There we go. Cool. So much healer. It's so much easier when you have a healer. Yeah, I meant to open up with a uh, cheap shot there, but you know what? The ambush was fine. He he was squishier than I expected, so it did a good chunk of health. But I would have opened with a cheap shot there, especially because he popped uh, uh, lust. So just shutting him down as best as I could would have been the best uh, best option, and just keeping him. Uh, locked down for the sake of my healer and then following up with a kidney and then if he's to trinket the kidney um, I could most likely follow up with a blind just to uh, kind of tick down that lust so we got the DK again this guy's like probably geared to the teeth isn't he oh yeah yeah he's 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 full brutal and he's got like yeah he's 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 geared that's for sure so again, playing with a DK, honestly, they're going to be the main source of damage here. So I'm going to just try and lock down. If I see a healer, I'm going to take out that healer and I'm going to lock him down. Um, keep him stunned, sapped, whatever. And I'm going to work with the target um, for, for my Death Knight. Being, being a subtlety rogue, you have a lot of burst damage. But, you know, if like, let's say you don't get a crit on your ambush or... Uh, 
you know, it becomes like a face-to-face -face fight, like you're fighting a play user and stuff like that, then it becomes tough. That's when, you know, being combat is beneficial, but combat does not have as much maneuverability as subtlety does. Speaking of the devil, look, a melee class. So, looks like it's going to be Rogue Paladin, because there's no Druid buff on him, so I can make the assumption that there is, in fact, yeah, there's the Rogue. So we're going to open with a cheap shot on him, and we're going to follow up with a kidney. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and switch to the pally now. Rupture him. We're just going to keep work on this pally. We're going to dismantle him. We're going to give some alleviation uh, for the damage. We can get a stealth reset here. Yeah, while the pally uh, does his healing, we can get a stealth reset. Okay, so we're going to open up again with another cheap shot. Alleviate some of the damage that our buddy's taking. That rogue, I, be I believe, has left. Yeah, he has. Okay, so there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that was, that was, uh, Welcome, yeah, a good trick to dealing with other rogues is um, instead of following up with, like, let's say an eviscerate or... Um, even even if I didn't want to do a kidney shot, I could always pop a rupture. So the rupture will stop him from actually going back into stealth. And because when you use Cloak of Shadows, Vanish or anything like that, it doesn't actually break bleeds. So when you pop a rupture on another rogue, especially if it's like a 16 second rupture, that's 16 seconds that they can't really reliably go stealth. So it's a great way to kind of keep other rogues in your sight so that they um, have a hard time uh, maneuvering around in stealth, so you're always going to know where they are. Especially if, especially if you are targeting them, it is a good idea because then if they pop vanish, it will break. So they can't, they can't necessarily uh, run away from you, which is always, which is always a really good thing. Okay, so we're dealing with an Ellie Shaman on our team. So with a caster, we're going to have to kind of play around them. Um, get in there, get a sap and see which target they kind of go for, especially because we're not in comms. Otherwise, you know, we would obviously discuss it and say, you know, who are we looking to go for. Um, but we're going to play around them. We're going to kind of see where they position themselves and we'll plan accordingly. We're going to prop, we're going to pop sprint right out of the gate just so that I can at least get over there. Yeah, so it's a double melee comp, so I definitely want to pop sprint right out of the gate. I'm going to see if I can throw one of them off. Oh, he got me a death and decay. Okay, I'm going to vanish reset right away. I'm not even going to bother. I'm not going to shadow step, I'm just going to go straight for a cheap shot and a dismantle. Blind. Yeah, I can't get out of that. Yeah, so unfortunately they were chasing that shaman like crazy, they were really pushing my shaman. Um, I couldn't get a sap. That's my bad that I stepped in that death and decay, which it happens, right? It happens that you you get taken out of stealth. Um, I didn't realize that I was in it. I swear I didn't even touch the circle, but... Double melee class is also just hard. It's hard to deal with on a rogue. Um, they can soak a lot of your damage. Oh, look, we're with the same Ellie Shaman. Look at that. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, he, he got uh, rushed very quickly, which was unfortunate. Um, the Death and Decay was a really good move by the DK. It really shuts down the bridge, um, gets me out of stealth, so he knows that, like, let's say I was going on the bridge, I can't get a sap on them by the time that Death and Decay drops. That's a good move on his part. Um, that Paladin was squishy, so... You know, an ambush did a lot of damage to him. I feel like if if uh, the shaman was to stay alive just a little bit longer, we could have we could have actually won that. Um, it's always tough to deal with the DK though. DK is, as you can see, like the the difference, the contrast in the damage meter here, just gives you guys an idea of exactly how much damage a DK can put out in such little time, um, especially when they pop their gargoyle. So, DK Brett Paladin is 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 a big comp, uh, especially because the Paladin can heal the DK. And I'm pretty sure the DK already heals himself to begin with. <laughs> so it's it's just a very tough comp. And the Rhett can heal himself as well with the Art of War talent. Okay, so it looks like we're dealing with Rogue, 
Warlock, Rogue Warlock. So let's try and see if we can maybe get in there um, and sap. Okay, no, we can't. Okay, so we're going to stop his burst. We're going to dismantle the rogue. No, never mind. It, he resisted our dismantle, I guess. Alright, yeah. The curses broke our... Uh, the curses broke our vanish, so... We couldn't find the rogue. The rogue, I guess, resisted our dismantle. Um... Which is unfortunate. Again, arena skirmishes are... Are tough because there's no comms, right? You can't discuss targets. You can't call out CCs. Uh, this seems to be a... Okay, this is another Ellie Shaman. Uh, you can't call out CCs. So if I blind somebody, they'll break it. You know what I mean? Or if I'm playing with a mage, you know, we can't call out poly blind. We can't call out uh, cyclones and blinds. We can't call out... Uh, burst windows, you know what I mean? So if I wanted to jump in with a Shadow Step Ambush and follow up with a Shadow Dance Ambush and, you know, just burst it down completely, I can't coordinate with this Elemental Shaman on when to do that because he might get rushed and stunned and I don't know about this unless I actually am, like, paying attention to him, which nine times out of ten I am, but I don't hear if he's saying, you know, like, I'm gonna get away and then we'll burst. So... That's the one thing I don't like about skirmishes. It's fun to at least still be in the arena and have that, you know, 2 on 2, 3 on 3, 5v5. It's nice to have that. Um, but I'm so excited to kind of get back in doing actual teams in Wrath of the Lich King. I feel like that's going to be the fun part. Alright, so with this being another Elemental Shaman, what we're going to do is... Um... See what we're dealing with so again shadow nope that's a regular priest okay so we're gonna open on that regular priest he's gonna pop his cooldowns here we're gonna open up actually we're gonna yeah we can't really do much i knew he was, I knew he was gonna quite possible i can get a restealth here I can't, I can't see him. Ellie Shaman did a lot of the work there. I, I played that very poorly. Alright, who are we paired with now? Again, same uh, same Ellie Shaman that tore in there that uh, we lost twice with. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do it better. We'll see what we can do. This guy's on Feralina. Let me see. What is gear? Brutal. He's got some PVE gear. That's fine. I've got PVE gear too, primarily my rings. Rings and uh, boots the extra attack power and all that pizzazz. Alright, so kind of the same deal, but what we're going to do is we're going to sprint out. We're going to try and get to the boxes um, that we're looking at right now, because if somebody goes there, we can probably sap them behind the boxes and then open up on the other guy. Again, I'm not too sure who he wants to go for. Uh, you know, I, I, I unless he kind of puts it out there, but it's one of those he's He's not stealth, I am. So if he selects a target, I kind of have to go with it. Or otherwise, uh, if I just jump out and select a target, you know, I, I've, I don't like uh, exposing myself before my teammate engages. All right, so Druid. I think it might be double Druid or it's uh, Druid Rogue. So we're going to just walk or run around and kind of spam our... Uh, Sap macro. Try and find them. We're going to try and stay close to our shaman. Found the druid. We're going to trinket. He popped his blind. Alright, let's see if I can maybe get... 
Ambush, ambush, he's dead. Okay, cool. So now what we're waiting for is to vanish cheap shot. So we got him. He dodged the, the disengage or the uh, dismantle. We're gonna vanish cheap shot again and keep him here. And he's he he should be dead here any second. So we can try and try and fish him out. So on the druid, you can't sap him, so you're gonna wanna always open up with a cheap shot. And that druid was uh, very squishy. So okay, so he got me in a sap here. He found me first. Oh, huge, huge. Our shaman is 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 huge. Nice. If okay, you made cool. it to the end of the video, That's thank you game. so much. You're an shaman. absolute legend. Uh, as of the time of recording this I'm video, we are almost at 600 subscribers, which is so absolutely phenomenal. Like we were at like 500 a couple days ago, so it's that, amazing you know, to see such growth two, on the two, channel, three, and it's three, a big five, motivator. Five. So again, nice thank you so that. much, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, leave a comment right, down I'm below. So like the video if you like it. If you dislike it, that's okay too. But you know what? I'm loving making this content, everyone. So if you like it, let me know. I will keep making it. And as always, everyone, I will see you in the next video.